Hey guys, it's your girl F. So today I'll be showing you how to make a bracelet out of puffy paint. And so, um, this design was not created by me. It was created by my friend, Tutorials by A. You can find her on YouTube. And she's really famous for her, um, Rainbow Loom, uh, Rainbow Loom design. So go check her out later. And so, basically, credits do not go to me. Credits go to her. I, the credits just sh the only credit I get is making this video. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, for this project, you'll need wax paper. I use Reynolds. Um, it's a really good brand. And you'll need some tape. I use scotch tape. A toothpick for designs later on. You'll know why later. Um, some scissors. And you'll need craft thread. Um... I use Prism. You can find it by the embroidery floss at the craft store. And of course you'll need uh, puffy paint. Um, I use Tulip. This is a glow in the dark one. It doesn't have to say puffy at the top. Um, if you find Tulip and you find it in this kind of bottle, you'll be fine. Okay, so first you'll need to tear out some wax paper. This should be enough. And you want to make sure this side curls up. So this side has no wax on it. This side has the one that has wax on it. So this, make sure it doesn't curl up. And next you'll need some string. Um, I make sure. So you need some string. And make sure the string is a longer than um, one time around your wrist. So make sure it's longer than it needs to be in case of an accidents. You don't want, you rather things to be longer than shorter. And then it, the tape, you'll just need to tape them on both ends. And make sure you leave some room, just leave some string at the end because that way it's easier for you to tie the knot when you put it on your hand. And make sure that this is really loose. Make sure it's not super tight. And so, we'll, let's get started with our pattern. So first I'm going to use red. Here's the tape. I want to get it around here. You want to get in, in the middle. Oh, sorry. You want to get it into the middle so it kind of sticks better. And then go on with your next next paint color and then you have got your yellow you can choose more than three colors if you like um, I just chose to do three because that way it uh, it's not that boring but it's not that it's easier to find what kind of paint you need so you just kind of keep on doing it. Try to keep it at about the same length. Okay, so now with the design, um, I'm gonna use my toothpick. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Okay, and I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna leave my toothpick kind of laying on top of the paint, and I'm just gonna scooch the wax paper up. It gives it kind of that you know line in your bracelet, and make sure you clean it off. And notice how I did it only on the left side. And now I'm going to do it on the right side. So there's going to be two lines. And 
Okay. And so now you have your pattern, well, kind of your design for your bracelet. And so let's say your friend's name is Ethan. Let's just say that. And do you want to write his name? So do it sort of in the middle and be careful that air isn't in the paint. There you go, and you got his name. And so make sure you let it dry overnight because these paints take a while to dry. So now I have left it dried overnight. And let me zoom in a little bit. It's dried. And so usually when I go to pick it up, I use my toothpick. And I gently just kind of, I lift the string up first. And I use my toothpick to kind of, you know, go under, under, it's kind of like slicing the bread. And I go on one side, I usually only just do it for one side. So there I have successfully taken out my bracelet. And now all you have to do is just kind of wrap it around and have someone help you tie it. So yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys like this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you comment some ideas down below for me to vlog about as usual, just about anything. And this time I'll be asking for your suggestion. Should I put my tutorials on another channel or can I put my vlogs and tutorial videos all in the same channel? So comment that and I'll definitely listen to your opinion. And make sure you click that subscribe button down below for some awesome videos coming up. Well, that's all for today. This is your girl F signing out. First things first.